Hello and welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And as we continue to celebrate the life and legacy of Chadwick Boseman, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you keep on getting all the updates. You know we love Chadwick Boseman on this channel. We love celebrating his legacy and everything that he stood for. So we want to keep his memory alive. So I want to share with you something that I came across from Chadwick Boseman's brother. Now we haven't really had much from his family until this point. So today we are going to hear a few words from Chadwick Boseman's brother in terms of sharing what their childhood was like and what Chadwick was like as a person, as well as his final moments and what he shared with his brother in his final moments. Thank you so much for being here. So Stay tuned for all of this in this video. Now we haven't really had much about Chadwick's family members or his brothers, but in today's edition, I have an exclusive for you. So this is the first time since Chadwick passed away about a month ago that we are going to hear from his family members, specifically his brothers. They have recently opened up about their brother Chadwick and his last days as well as sharing with us some of Chadwick's earliest memories. Now, before I start, I just want to say I really, really appreciate all of you guys, my subscribers. You mean so much to me. Thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching my videos and big shout out to all of you, every single one of you. All right, so just over a month after Chadwick Boseman passed away, his brothers Kevin and Derek are opening up about his final days. Now the actor passed away, as we all know, at the age of 43 from colon cancer, which he was diagnosed with in 2016, but it was never publicly disclosed. Kevin Bozeman, 48, and Derek Bozeman, 54, opened up to the New York Times about their brother's last day, revealing that he was ready for his four-year battle with cancer to be over. So Derek who is the late Chadwick Bosman's brother and a pastor who now lives in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I hope I've pronounced that right, guys. <laughs> As you all know, I'm from England and we do pronounce some of the words slightly different. But anyway, just bear with me. So Derek, um, according to Derek, his brother Chadwick Bosman spoke to him the day before he died and he told him that he was ready to go. Chadwick told his brother, man, I'm in the fourth quarter and I need you to get me out of the game. So when Chadwick told his brother that he was in the fourth quarter, medically we can assume that this basically meant that he's in the stage four of his cancer because as we all know that when you get to the fourth stage of your diagnosis, it is pretty much most in most cases your final stages so chadwick told his brother i'm in the fourth quarter and i need you to get me out of the game i don't know how he felt i can't i can't even imagine how the family felt how his brothers felt when chadwick was disclosing this to them it's like they they all knew that the time was coming closer how did Chadwick feel knowing that he was in his final days? How did his brother feel having that conversation with Chadwick? Man, it is so incredible. What do you say to somebody when they're in that final stage? It's like you want them to live, but you also know that the days are coming close to an end. So I can only, so we can only empathize. We can only imagine what that must have felt for, for Chadwick's brother to have that conversation with his brother, knowing full well 
what was about to happen. And his brother actually asked what he meant until he realized that Chadwick meant that he was ready to go for his fight to be over. When he told me that, I changed my prayer from God heal him, God save him, to God, let your will be done, Pastor Bozeman said. And the next day, he passed away. The pastor added, of his brother's death on August the 29th. While the actor went by his full name of Chadwick Boseman, friends and other closest to him knew him simply as Chad. I have been trying to remember Chad and not Chadwick, Kevin Boseman said, and there's just been a lot of Chadwick in the air. Kevin, who is a successful actor, director and writer in his own right, added that when someone becomes a celebrity, you have to start sharing that person with the world. I always have endeavoured to just treat him like my brother. Derek added that Chad was always artistically gifted, adding he could sit and draw anyone from a very young age. And if you guys remember that earlier on in one of my videos, I actually showed a tribute from various artists, again, celebrating Chadwick, because it, it seems to me that it is quite evident that Chadwick was a very artistic person in so many ways, in the way that he dressed, he was very much a fashionable person and he just had a sense of style, which was in his own league. You know, so he was creative in the fashionable sense. He was creative in the arts because he loved music and he loved to sing and dance and drum. He also loved the art, the, the, the art of drawing, you know, because you saw that he was very much interested in that. And a lot of artists did actually give him that tribute and made videos of drawings and paintings of Chadwick Boseman which showed that Chadwick did have an appreciation for arts so we can see that what his brother is saying actually resonates with Chadwick as an artist artistic person Chad was gifted Pastor Boseman said he's probably the most gifted person I've ever met Chadwick always wanted to work in the arts, but he originally wanted to be a writer and director before he was encouraged to start acting while at Howard University. A lot of people think making it means becoming an A-list movie star, Kevin said. I didn't force that. I just knew that if Chad wanted to work in the arts, he would find a way and take care of himself. So that was what Chadwick's brother had to say about his brother in terms of his earlier life growing up and also his final moments. Now I'm also going to share with you what some of the social media fans of Chadwick had to say about this particular story. So somebody said it's very heartbreaking as Chadwick was so young and it appeared that he had a lot to offer the arts. Another comment says, I obviously never knew this young man, but I just find his death so heartbreaking. He was robbed of half of his life. 2020 is really a horrible year. And then we have another comment that says, I thought he was an only child as the media didn't mention the brothers at all when reporting his passing. I'm so relieved for his parents as all, although it doesn't stop the pain, it helps to have other kids and that the brothers have each other too. R.I.P. Chad. So, yeah, so this is some of the comments that a lot of the fans had to share. And, you know, we can see that he was very much loved. And another says, glad he was religious. Seems like it gave him the strength and humility and hope he needed.
Chad was one of those special people who without fuss or fanfare humbly walks amongst us. They enter our lives, serve their purpose and then leave quietly. We often don't look, see or recognize them or their impact. Wow, what a comment. Mm -hmm. And in most cases, I actually think that, you know, sometimes in a lot, of, a lot of times when somebody is still alive, people don't really appreciate them. It's only when the person passes away that people start to recognize what they did. You know, I don't know why this is this way, but this is how it works out in life. I mean, a lot of people didn't even know about Chadwick Boseman until he passed away, which is not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but it just goes to show you that he came to people's attention when he passed away. It's, it's only through his passing that a lot of people got to know all the different things that he represented as a person, as an actor, as a brother, as a husband, you know, all these things that he achieved and accomplished while he was still alive was brought to attention after he passed away and he has left an amazing a tremendous tremendous legacy for us all there is some things that there is something for each of us to pick through chadwick boseman's death and his character as a person